saying. Okay, here we go. Max and Chet show. Hello. We're we're running out of subject matter. Um, any one of our any one of our many fans can go ahead and leave a comment on this freaking video and tell us what you would like our subject to be. And trust me, we're here for you. Yeah. We we will you, we will run with it. You give me anything. Anything. We'll, we'll, do, it. we'll do it. We don't get shit. Yeah, that's right. So. So I'm. I'm uh, yeah, we're gonna start a Facebook page. Yeah. All right. <coughs> yeah. And you we'll can leave that. us comments on our awesome futuristic state-of-the-art Facebook page. Which, yeah, I'm not a fan of the YouTube channel like Chet Morton is not yet, but, or it is me. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I What am I trying to say? What are words coming out of my mouth trying to mean yeah. to me and you? What, what mean these words? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Anyways, oh, on, to, on to something else. The... We I googled some words and yeah, Google trend yeah. words. Google popular trend things words. being being googled right now. Number one, Miley Cyrus engagement. Well, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, I would think mm -hmm. there's more important things. Like, apparently not. No. no, I heard this on the radio too today. Yeah, I heard this on the radio driving around. <clears throat> uh, Miley Cyrus engaged to uh, the dude from Hunger Games. Apparently. Oh, jeez, that guy. I don't know. I didn't see the movie, so. Well. Here's my my thing. Hunger Games. I liked it. Hunger Games. And the lady on the radio had a good point though. She's like, my my series has like good moments where she's mature, and because she's been acting for so long, she's mature. And then she has like these moments of like idiocracy, <laughs> where she like tweets these st stupid pictures of herself or whatever. And so hopefully she doesn't fuck this up. Yeah, I, you know another freaking. Celebrity, I can care less about celebrity. Right, characters. I just I, don't. I yeah, I give them less than two years. But did anybody? Did any of the celebrities give a shit about my marriage? That's when I'll start giving a fuck about a fucking their marriages. That's a good point. As right. soon as one motherfucking celebrity sends me an email giving a shit about my marriage, I will start caring about every single celebrity's marriage. There you go. There you go. Hey, let's just go down the list, man. Uh, Wade Davis. I have no idea who that is. You. Fuck no. All right. D-Day, though, June 6th. Oh, yeah. The, the 44th, si right? Yeah, they just had the anniversary. 60 years, is it? 60 years. Okay, it must have been 40, 42 then if it's 60 42, years. Yeah. 40, okay. No, it was a 42. 60 years? No. All right. Also, uh... Was it 60 years or 52? Or no, it couldn't have been 52. It would not have been 52. It would have to have been 42. Was I was going to say 44, but I was wrong. It was 42. 60 year anniversary, I believe. Anyways, uh, it was the anniversary of D-Day. Some badass motherfuckers kicked some badass ass that day. That's right. You know, some I read this book that talked about there. There was a lot involved in making D Day. They had to do a. Uh, they did a whole fake fake out. Right, too. the Fortitude yeah. South. Thank you. That's where I was running with this. And um, I read this book, and there was this the, the greatest uh, uh, marketing guy of all time or whatever. But he was in the Navy, and he was like this admiral, and he had what he called the FS maneuver, and it was the Fortitude South. And according to him, every single politician does this maneuver. <laughs> Better, even though he's he he you know believes he's the greatest marketing guy in the world. And after you read the book, he probably is the greatest marketing guy in the world. But according to him, he can't do an FS maneuver like a politician can, which, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is funny. And I, I hope that 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 book was called The Immune. It was kind of corny, even though it uh, was. I'm, but then they like, honestly they put out like all like inflatable like ships and stuff. Right, and, and they would they would send out these messages like they yeah. were gonna attack from all this. This whole yeah. big fake out. Yeah, if you don't know about it, you should totally research it. It's a big part of the world history, not just America's. And, and I hope that that comes into our main vocabulary when when someone does freaking when when you're talking about something serious and they want to change it to the weather, that's a forti that's an FS maneuver, Fortitude South. And um, I hope we start calling our politicians on it. I like that Fortitude idea. Fortitude South. Um, All right. Uh, anyways, number four is apparently D-Day again without the, without <laughs> without the space. space. Yeah. Because <laughs> apparently <laughs> these are the things being Googled. D-Space D day, day and then number four is D-Day without a space. All right. <laughs> number five, we got Liam Hemsworth. Any idea who that is? I don't know. Maybe it's the dude marrying Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that guy's name. I saw Maybe. that movie. It wasn't I don't bad. Know. Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes, uh, actress. She, she was one, cute, I think. Is she the one in that um, that new Spider-Man movie? I don't know. Up? I'm just name? so not into celebrities that I'm just a worthless celebrity. Oh no, Amanda Bynes pleads not guilty to DUI. Oh. Tweets Obama. Obama. Amanda <laughs> 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 Bynes asked President Obama to fire arresting cop. 
What the hell is this? Amanda Bynes asked the uh, the president to arrest to fire the cop that arrested her. What? I don't mean to. Because she got drunk. Search Google. Wow, she's a no, she's psycho, dude. Uh, we thought I sh that's what was my problem. I should have uh, gotten somebody to fire the actress. cop that arrested me. I should have asked the president of the United States to fire the cop that arrested me. Yeah, there you go. She's cute. I remember she's cute, but I think she's hella young. Yeah, she looks well, she like she was she's young. Old. Well, no, she's older now, I think. But is, is your daughter friends with her? I mean, she's <laughs> yeah. She's older now. I mean, she's young, too old young for to us. Get ridiculous. Arrested, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's old enough to be old enough, no, but, but definitely not the actress I was thinking. But of. that's still too young for you. Well, I'm, I'm not, not out there. <laughs> Anyways, early, so. we Ray got, Bradbury. Right. Well, he's number eight. I just he skipped, skipped Kevin Durant. But I don't know who that is. Because I just got excited because I saw Ray Bradbury. Excited. I have bad news for you. Do you what? know why he's being googled? Is he dead? He's dead, dude. Oh. Sorry about that. But I, I Fahrenheit four one one man. Uh, you, did you have to read that book in school? No. I did. And what's ironic is they banned that book in some places. Read me not in school. No, like <laughs> silly <Yeah>. man. <laughs> now, now we're going off on how good looking and smart we were in the last one. <laughs> 26. 26. Thanks, Roxy. See, old got, enough, but we've still. We've almost got research back Actually, you know what? 26 is only fucking four years younger than me. That's not Yeah, I know. That's, that's six years She is not too young for me, apparently. All right, all right. Hey, well, you know, you want to... Watch out, Amanda Bynes. Uh, right. <laughs> Max Danger on you the prowl. Not, you better not break up with her. Who knows what she'll have President Obama do to you. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> President Obama, please arrest this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, freaking uh, so typical Hollywood oh, tool. They, the they're so special that they need the president to fucking fire the dude that arrest mm -hmm. them for breaking the law, mind you. Whatever. No, his uh, Fahrenheit 411 is about book banning, pretty much, and ironically, the book is banned in some places. Mm -hmm. so. That Dan is ironic. Dandelion. That's like the definition of ir irony right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Huh? That should be like in a dictionary somewhere. And of course, Fahrenheit. That's where the the title Fahrenheit nine one one came from. Fahrenheit nine eleven. Yeah. I thought Fahrenheit nine eleven was like all of the conspiracy theory. Well, that's Michael Moore's yeah. documentary. I didn't watch that one. That's what I thought you were talking about. Well, no, I, I changed it. I, so Fahrenheit four one one's the book, but he got his title from that Fahrenheit nine eleven. He got that. From oh, Fahrenheit he just ripped off. What do you right. know? Michael Moore ripped yeah, somebody right. off. Big son's bright. <laughs> Anyways, next one on the list: Dandelion Wine. That sounds number nine in the it, of Google. The Google is used around what the world, right? Right. Granted, we're probably on the okay. We're on the U.S. server, okay. But dandelion wine. English. English, but I think there's different servers for Google. You can right. switch over to like Google UK, right, and you'll nice get thing. like and you'll get like whatever's <laughs> trending in the UK and shit. No, I got you. Know? you. Uh, or you know Google fucking Africa, and you'll figure so out. So is that a wine? Like I can grow dandelions. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. Like dandelions grow randomly, and I get mad at them. But if they can right. get me drunk, I'm yeah, suddenly let's... not as mad at them. All right, let's take a look at that. You know. But meanwhile, while while I'm looking for that, we should go off on the next one. Well, the next one we can find. Luke it. Bryan, I don't know. Fuck Luke Bryan. I don't know that either. Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, City Thunder. Thunder. I heard about. Well, I think that's because uh, there was a big storm the other day. Yeah. That passed through uh, near Oklahoma. My 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 B row lives in Oklahoma. Right. Uh, but uh, there's there was a big. Oh, it's by Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury novel. It's a Ray Bradbury novel, Dandelion Wine. But I wonder, is it still an actual... The title refers to a wine made with dandelion See? petals and other ingredients, commonly citrus fruit. And the story, for other uses, film, folk music... I'm thinking it's not a wine. I knew, it I knew, but, yeah, I, no, I think it is... Maybe in the old days the Okies would. Uh, speaking of which, Oklahoma Okies. That's where the word Okie comes from. Yeah, they call themselves that. Okies. You didn't know? Well, it's, yeah. it's derogatory, bro. I know it's derogatory, but they call themselves Okies. Well, then it's nice, like yeah, it's like one of those things. They can call themselves that, but we can't call the, them. I know, that. no, no. That's <laughs> what my brother said. <laughs> that's where that term comes from. We used to make fun of people that we call the Okies. Well, yeah, man. and they, they, yeah, they don't take kind to that. They're serious. Okay, my granddad. Now I say it, but I what I'm trying to refer to when I say an my Oki granddad is, is like an Oki. a yeah, he's a guy who lives out in the fucking sticks, a hillbilly. No, what what I mean when I say my granddad is though he literally came from, from Oklahoma. During the Great Depression, going California oh, way looking for jobs. Bowls. Yeah, the Dust Bowls. Yeah, in the Great Depression, 
And so they would, that's why it's derogatory. The Californians would be like, well, these dang Okies have come and take, you know, they took their germs. They took know? their germs. But they also, because they didn't turn into a term, like the Okie. To me, Okie is like, Okie from Skokie, whatever, whatever. But an Okie is like a, like a basically a hillbilly almost. Right, right. I do think of it that way. But, but um, it's just kind of funny. They, it, it is somewhat derogatory, although when I say it, I don't mean it or think it derogatory. I just think. When when I say like my granddad was an Okie, I mean he. Was, well, when I say Okie, I just I'm I mean referring the same to the time frame. Hey, really. Yeah, I do. I mean well, the exact same when I say. If, hey, if I say like someone told me one time, pull your pant legs out of your socks, you Okie. Someone said that to me one time. <laughs> that was probably derogatory. That was derogatory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why derogatory. did you have your pant legs in your socks? <laughs> because you know. Because you're up like an Okie. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit of a goober at times. I'm a bit of a goober. Um, Anyways, apparently we will never have fans in Oklahoma now. Right. <laughs> Except for maybe your your brother will pay him five bucks to listen <laughs> to this. Five bucks to listen to this. But apparently they had some big thunderstorms the other day, and they passed. Anyways, that's why it was uh, Stephen. So, so Liam Hemsworth and Miley. So so we were talking about number five, Liam Hemsworth. Apparently that is the guy. Is Liam Hemsworth. Am I, am I right? Am I yeah, right? Yeah, you're right. You I fucking it. dude. I just know things without knowing them. Space shuttle Enterprise. So we we got the space shuttle launching privately. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a good thing. Private private space shuttle space. Enterprise. Uh, what? Not they the shuttle itself, but they've got a private rocket launch that. When. They haven't wow. started that yet, have they? they have I heard Boeing canceled. hasn't started yet. Boeing has... Not Boeing yet, but there's a new one. But I know Boeing had plans, and they were like... This was like maybe a year ago I heard this, that they were 60% of the way met their check marks on creating uh, a spacecraft to reach low orbit for, right. uh, you know... Basically, you know, people for regular people, Boeing, and they they had met sixty percent of their benchmarks on time or ahead of schedule or below pro, below budget. Dude, they're just you know, it's just a reality, people. And this is a dream of mine. It's a little kid, dude. If if it ever happens, I'm doing it, man. I am so doing it. I'm going to go to space and I'm going to be weightless. You're talking about SpaceX, but we, I mean, Boeing. But we, here's the thing: SpaceX on May 31st, SpaceX successfully completed the historic mission that made Dragon the first commercial spacecraft in history to visit the International Space Station. <gasps> Are you shitting me? Nope, I'm serious. No freaking shitting. Yeah, but how much they charge for that shit? Like, oh, for you. And remember go. back in the day, it was like they were charging 20 mil or some shit. Yeah. Back in the day, but I don't know what they're charging now. But this is all good news, man. I'm happy about this. I, I read right? an article. That's pimp, dude. Look at this. I read an article that, that some of the NASA guys are sad because they feel like it takes away from from national greatness or what. But I, I mean, this is the future. No need to freaking. Spend. I agree. There needs to be this, but I don't think we should have shut down NASA's either. There needs to be NASA needs to replace the shuttle real fast. The the. the what are you saying no? What do you mean no? I, I just kind of went, yeah. Like, like NASA has a place, but I don't think it's like the big freaking industry. Dude, you know industry. what I mean? You don't know. You know how many like, things you don't know came from NASA? Like, the cordless drill came from fucking NASA. Like, they developed the cordless drill for use in NASA, you know? They, they developed so many things. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm saying a battery powered drill would have would have come without NASA. But that's not my point. Do you understand though? That's not my point. I'm saying those are the little things that people don't realize. The right. big things are oh my god, you know the International Space Shuttle, all these things they're doing up there, these these experiments, these bend to the moon, you know the plans to go to the Mar if we're ever gonna make it to Mars, you know they got to keep having a, a newer, better space well, shuttle. Well, that's why. See, that's why I think you need the private industry trying to get to Mars. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do it faster. They're gonna. Here's the thing. You gotta be willing to risk some lives. I mean, you want to make an omelet, you gotta break an egg, right? But the civilians, though, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, I understand your, I agree with your, your, your theory there, but not civilian eggs. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, no, no. That's how lawsuits See, and people whine and cry because they, I didn't sign up for this. I signed up to go on a fucking no, no, no. cruise got, ship. Believe you me, you get on a spaceship, you better, you're gonna be signing a waiver at some point. And the thing is, NASA won't kill anybody, man. They won't let anybody die. And even when they do, it was like such a big screw up. You're like, geez, how did you think? That's that a good thing. No, it's too expensive. It's, it's too cheaper. It's cheaper to take a risk and let someone die. That you're you're a horrible person. Horrible person? No, no. I don't. I'm not saying kill someone. I'm saying yes. let them voluntarily risk their lives and potentially die. All right. Well, we're running out of time here. We didn't get through our list, but. 
All right. Peace out. Max and Chet. Peace. Peace.